My sweet goats, what's up? How you doing? Have you been good gamers? Huh? Have you been good? You haven't been building any gates, have you? I, I really hope you haven't. Have you been remembering to take your daily dose of video games instead of barking about video games on Twitter.com? I know that I have. I've been playing video games on Twitch almost every single day. That's uh, twitch.tv slash Mr. Bunty King if you're interested and you want to stop by. You want maybe a bit of happiness. You just, just fed to you through the f***ing monitor. I'll be sure to welcome you if you decide to go ahead and swing by and chill. Today I want to talk about Resident Evil 2. I want to talk about that sick looking game. Last week I played the demo on stream and I absolutely loved it. Ah! What the f- <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro, you're still alive. <laughs> How many shots, though? Ah! Oh my god, dude. Do this. That's all, that's all I need. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. And looking back to last week and thinking about my time with that 30 minute demo, it really got me to realize that I actually haven't been this excited for Resident Evil games since Resident Evil 5. And the only reason why I was excited for that game was because Resident Evil 4 was so sick. It was so sick. And now I'm thinking about Resident Evil 4. I'm thinking about what my experience was like with that game. And I'm looking back to this one moment that I had in that game that I was just like, holy f Well, actually there were two moments, but the second moment I handled way, 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 way better way better than I handled the first moment because the first moment was absolute pure fear. It's when you go down into that dungeon and you have to like turn on a switch or something. You have to do something in the dungeon. You gotta do something in this up dungeon the moment you get into this castle. You're like, I don't even know what the I'm doing here. Why am I here? This, 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 this president's daughter is, is way too much of an issue. It's too much of an issue right now. I'm tripping out here, okay? I'm done. That's, that's the level that you're at. At, at this point in the game. And they put you in this fucking dungeon, man. This fucking dungeon. It looks like somebody already died in there. Someone came before you and fed something to that thing that you're about to see. There's this fucking thing just hanging out on the wall over there. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do right now? Am I gonna walk up real close to that and turn on that fucking switch that's right next to that thing, which I know is gonna kill me? Oh man, that was fucking scary. And you go up to it and of course, of course, of course it comes out. It comes out and it attacks you and it tries to you up and it's blind and it's swinging around and it's making these <laughs> noise <laughs> and you're just like oh my god this is nuts until you figure out its pattern and that's it it's over it's done that moment was the moment the game got me after you killed that that dirty thing that dirty dirty disgusting thing that just that just would only exist in in, in a terrible nightmare all right there's some good nightmares by the way not some nightmares are fun you know they turn into action movies but this is a terrible nightmare. This is a nightmare that you're not getting out of. That's where this thing would be. It was so rewarding to kill it. It made me feel like, yes, I have it in me to survive this terrible ordeal and get this fucking unappreciative little rat back to her fucked up dad. And so now the remake is here and it looks amazing. It looks so, so good. It looks like something that's definitely gonna put a big doo-doo in my pants. And the best part is I don't know a thing about the Resident Evil 2 story. I'm going in completely blind. This is great. Every single scare in this game is gonna be a brand new scare set in that Resident Evil 2 thing that was a genre defining experience. I'm just really excited to actually go through this. I think that's pretty sick and I can't be the only one that thinks that's sick. So you know what, you're probably as you're watching this, gonna buy this game. You're gonna buy this game and you're gonna enjoy it just as I am gonna enjoy it. So what's got me so excited about Resident Evil 2? Well, a few things. Let's start with the fact that it's a remake and a masterfully crafted remake at that. Resident Evil was a game that I had only heard about as a kid, but as alluded to earlier, never really got the chance to play. My entry into the series was Resident Evil 4, so by the time I could actually appreciate Resident Evil in general, I wasn't really capable of appreciating the gameplay or the graphics in the earlier titles. Resident Evil 1 through 3 were just too ugly for me to play and while that statement might piss you off I'm afraid a game does need to meet my current graphical expectations in order for me to be able to get into it Although there are some exceptions to this personal rule after Resident Evil 5 I lost complete interest in the series and that feeling of disinterest remained up until the release of Resident Evil 7 Almost eight years later yet despite my renewed interest in the series with the seventh installment as well as my appreciation For its newfound aesthetic and re-establishment of survival horror elements. I still didn't enjoy playing it at all. I mean, I'm a fan of first-person perspectives in horror games
games. However, something about it being present in Resident Evil didn't really sit well with me. But I know that the game was generally well received with audiences both old and new, so there's that at the very least. What Resident Evil 2 appears to be doing is blending what worked with Resident Evil 4 and what's available for them to work with in the new RE engine, allowing people like me to experience what was considered to be a crowning achievement in survival horror games from a fresh new perspective. I'm also excited about playing as a younger, more naive Leon. The Leon I got to know was battle-hardened and confident. Dude would roundhouse kick zombies so hard their heads would burst open. So I think it's going to be fun to play as a more vulnerable character that has no clue about what's going on this time around. Then there's the talk of this Ghost Survivors mode, which seems like it's going to be this generation's version of the Mercenaries mode that I enjoyed thoroughly in Resident Evil 4. You even get to play as Hunk, a character I remember enjoying a ton in Mercenaries as his SMG and finisher allowed for some pretty long execution chains. But all in all, I'm just genuinely excited for a horror game that looks like it's worth the investment in time. There are just too few of them around these days and I can't resist a good scare. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my sweet, sweet, sweet goat. Thank you. If you enjoyed that, leave a like, hit the sub button and ding that bell icon. You can also go ahead and take a look in my Patreon if that's what you want to do, if you want to support me in that manner. And if you're one of the lucky few that happens to be in my Twitch audience, then I'll see you for a Resident Evil 2 launch day stream at 10 a.m. Eastern. I can't wait for it. Until then, I love you. Bye.